In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the good news. Christ is in our midst. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my strength and my Redeemer. Our reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John, chapter 7, verses 43 through to chapter 8, verse 2. So there was a division among the people because of him. Now some of them wanted to take him, but no one laid hands on him. Then the officers came to the chief priests and Pharisees, and who said to them, Why have you not brought him? The officers answered, No man ever spoke like this man. Then the Pharisees answered them, Are you also deceived? Have any of the rulers of the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd that does not know the law is accursed. Nicodemus, he who came to Jesus by night, being one of them, said to them, Does our law judge a man before it hears him and knows what he is doing? And they answered and said to him, Are you also from Galilee? Search and look, for no prophet has arisen out of Galilee. And everyone went to his own house. But Jesus went to the Mount of Olives. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple, and all the people came to him, and he sat down and taught them. Glory to you, O God. Come, Holy Spirit, fill our hearts with your love. Help us in the understanding of your words and teachings. Help us to hear your word. Today is Holy Monday. This is Holy Week we are now going through. And we read that yesterday, of course, we know, was Palm Sunday, when Jesus entered Jerusalem triumphant, not on a great white stallion, no, but on a colt of a donkey. And people were all singing out, praising him, glorifying God. Hosanna, Hosanna, the son of David. And of course, we know how the, the chief priests and the Pharisees and scribes were all trying to find somehow of getting this man to judge him. They were upset when they found out the officers they sent to seize Jesus to arrest him did not. These men were stunned at the way Jesus spoke. Yes. And the Pharisees, of course, and the rulers thought that they'd been deceived. But no. And then we read how they all then just went back to their own houses and kept on plotting to get Jesus. And Jesus just went then to the Mount of Olives and prayed. Now early in the morning he came again into the temple. And all the people came to him and sat down and he taught them. Yes. Jesus didn't stop after his triumphant entrance into Jerusalem. No. The word still needs to be preached. Yes. And so in turn he kept on doing this preaching to the people, calling on people to repent, turn back to God. So on this Holy Monday, let us remember this. And then as we journey through this week, this Holy Week, let us meditate on how we hear the Word of God. 
And when you pray, give God the glory and thanks for the opportunities, not just one, but many opportunities to praise him, to glorify him. Glory to God for all things. And may the blessing of Almighty God, Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. 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 Most Holy Theotokos, save us. Amen.